These are my seven page notes for surgery and they cover a topic called as gastrointestinal tract which in the book of surgery is around 350 to 400 pages long. So how did I compress this topic which was so huge into just seven pages? For urology which is a separate book in itself in just five pages, trauma in three pages and breast in just two pages. So I can effectively revise the entire part of surgery in less than 25 pages. And I can guarantee that I'll solve 90% questions correctly just by using these very concise high yield notes. So how did I actually make these notes? The entire process that goes behind it, how every single word in this particular notes has been thought and crafted. And in this video, I'll be telling you no matter what the subject, it can be surgery, it can be medicine, or it can be criminology, or it can be science. You can use this method to make extremely concise, extremely high yield notes that you can read one day before the exam and still get most of the questions correct. If you didn't know me, hi, I'm Dr. I'm Anush Pachel and MBBS intern working at GMC Nagpur and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Videos such as this one. So let's see what actually happens when you're reading the topic for the first time and trying to make notes from it at the same time. You just end up making the revised version of that book or that topic in your notebook. And that's not the purpose of making notes. Your purpose of making notes is not to make a revised edition. You have to see what is important and then you have to finally write down only the things which you're actually going to be reading. During my MBBS days, I made so many of these revised edition textbooks of my own, like hundreds of pages. I didn't even read it once after I was done making them. I have a seven step program and using these seven steps, you'll be able to achieve the same amount of results that I am achieving with respect to the notes. So the first point is absolutely very simple. It is to understand the topic. Okay, let's take a simple example of this chapter called as the liver. In liver, we've got so many diseases that we read in surgery, right from benign to malignant to inflammatory to traumatic. And all of these diseases have different presentations, different modalities of treatment, different imaging modalities and different clinical presentations. The first step is to actually open the textbook and read everything in detail, understand everything in detail. And the main key is to understand. Because if you don't understand, no matter how concise your notes are, your brain won't be able to connect the dots in order for your notes to work. So what we're actually going to be doing when you're making notes is we are going to be just writing certain keywords and your brain will automatically pick up those keywords and understand the entire topic by just a few words. The only way you can understand it is by actually reading it first and trying to form the concepts in your head before you actually take notes. So I think the first step is very very clear is to understand the topic using either textbook or video lectures or both or even if your friend taught it, it works. If you understand it, then you are done. Secondly, do you recall how I actually told you what is the syllabus that we study in liver? We study it on the basis of topics such as benign disease of the liver, malignant disease of the liver, inflammatory, traumatic and this, are, this is actually how we have grouped the diseases into the subheading of this topic called as liver. So what I'm trying to say is that when you're reading, try to make a classification of that chapter in your own head. Like I said, liver may malignant diseases. Hai. You've got three to four cancers, which are very, very commonly asked in liver. In benign disease, you've got just a few. In traumatic, you've got traumatic liver injury. And lastly, in inflammatory, you've got certain hepatitis and all of that. So this is, this is how you actually study the liver. And whenever you think of this organ liver, you think of it in these four terms. Another great example for this with respect to biology is the respiratory system. For example, you think about it as the airways, the lung. In the lung, we've got the parenchyma. We've got the airways once again, we've got the interstitium. So any disease, it will basically affect just these three things. There is no lung pathology which will affect anything else apart from this. Airway ki alag diseases hoti hai, interstitium ki alag diseases hoti hai, parenchyma ki alag diseases hoti hai. And that's how we actually classify, classify and remember the systems of whatever you're studying. Haphazardly, your brain is going to forget everything. So my second point was to understand the classification. If there is no classification, then invent a classification of your own because a classification system is must for your brain to remember that thing for a long period of time. So they grow those steps okay but we have still not gotten into the making notes part because notes are only supposed to work when you actually know the topic very well they won't work especially the concise notes won't work if you don't know the topic well enough again keywords we use karne wale notes banane ke liye. and to understand keywords you should be knowing the concept very well the third point is where we actually start making notes in the first place so the third point is called as limiting the detail okay so before you even write down something in your notebook, okay, just whatever topic you're reading, highlight only and only the keyword. I know puri highlight karne ki chhoti hai, wo mat karna, bahut kharaab ho jayega, sab puri book yellow ho jayegi. 
highlight only and only the very important keywords that will help you filter out all the filler information which is given if you feel like highlighting is not something for you books already mention everything in bold manner so whatever is bold is probably important for you now that you've done that isolate the most frequently asked topics liver mein bahut sare diseases hai but they don't ask questions from every disease they ask questions from only like 10 15 of the most high yield diseases so now my mind has segregated okay these are the 15 diseases that you have to focus your mind on secondly these are the important keywords from these diseases that you should be knowing for example there is a disease called as alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency it causes cirrhosis of the liver the main question from liver they ask us is the gene so the gene is called as serpina gene just remember alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency in liver is serpina gene baki ki entire pathophysiology you can leave behind because that is not a what is asked upon what is asked upon is serpina gene but since you have read and understood the topic very well by default when you read alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency of liver you will automatically think about the entire pathology and the uh, the etiology and everything but what is asked upon is serpina we have essentially just cut down the number of topics to less than half and in that have we've just highlighted the most important words so that was step 3 is to limit the detail and only focus upon the most high yield topics which are questioned and secondly the most important words and keywords from which you can your brain will pick up the entire pathophysiology to pick up the entire concept by its own because you have finished the first two steps finally next step is finally you take a piece of paper sit down and let's make the notes fourth step chalu hota hai there are three or four ways to go about making these concise notes my personal favorite and the one which i recommend to every student is using tables tables will simplify your life quite a lot look at a particular topic that you're going to be discussing there are only like five or six columns which the questions are mostly asked from first is of course the name of the disease and certain specifications related okay is disease ko is naam se bhi jante hai isme ye particular scientist involved था इसमें ये पर्टिकुलर रिसर्च हुई सेकंड इज द साइन सिम्टम्स थर्ड इज इटियोलॉजी पैथोजेनेसिस फोर्थ इज द इन्वेस्टिगेशन फिफ्थ इज द ट्रीटमेंट यूजुअली इतना ही रहता है जस्ट मेक अ टेबल व्हिच कंटेन्स दीस फाइव कॉलम्स एंड इन ईच रो व्हाट यू विल डू इन ईच रो यू विल जस्ट फिल आउट द कीवर्ड्स एंड फिल आउट व्हाटएवर यू हैव हाइलाइटेड फ्रॉम दीस 15 टॉपिक्स एंड लेट्स से द टॉपिक ऑफ लिवर इन वन पेज यू हैव समराइज्ड द एंटायर चैप्टर ऑफ लिवर व्हिच वाज लाइक 50 पेजेस लॉन्ग बाय कट शॉर्टिंग एंड बाय हाइलाइटिंग द कीवर्ड्स putting them down in an organized fashion and also using your brain at the same time because you have classified everything but the first three are the benign liver conditions the next three are the malignant liver condition the next three are the traumatic one and the last one is the inflammatory one so that's how you actually make a tabulated version of the notes which are present in the textbook and you can read this one table to have a look at the most important questions the most frequently asked questions and just revise it all in just one glance and since you have read well just by looking at one particular keyword your brain will form the connections it will form the dots the action potential will go inside your head and you will actually recollect the entire topic okay so that was the first method to go about it the second method is the paragraph method now this one i don't particularly like but there are certain <laughs> there are certain places where the paragraph method is the only one which is going to work you just write down very 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 short notes in a paragraph format that's that, uh, that's the most simple way to put it this note for ent and every disease i just used one sticky note to write the most highly tested upon topics from that one disease for example this is the topic of minias disease as you can see it's got like seven or 10 lines and only these seven or 10 lines are always asked there will be never an eighth line which is present in minias disease but itna hi puchte hain again what i did there are there are thousands of topics in ent but they only ask questions from the 50 topics in these 50 topics i just take small small sticky notes in these sticky notes in the paragraph format i wrote down everything that is asked upon with the keywords i even highlighted i used different colors so that the paragraph looks attractive to me ki mai padh lu and within just 50 short sticky notes which is hardly like two or three or four pages i have covered the entirety of ent this was the second method which i like to call the paragraph method the third method for making concise notes is called as the image based note and this was given to me by dr zainab bora ma'am so you might or you might or might not know zainab bora ma'am she is like a legend she is a radiologist and uh, i'm a very big fan of her personally and professionally so she is a teacher and every time she takes a lecture uh, there is she uses so many images so many images like entire you know of course she is a radiologist she'll, she'll use images okay so So that's what actually gave rise to the idea of using images, and that image will show you the entire topic in just one go. 
सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई रियली लव दिस पर्टिकुलर इमेज वाला सेक्शन एंड इट शोज द डिफरेंट किट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट दैट वी यूज इन ऑप्शिक इन गायनकोलॉजी फॉर डिफरेंट इन्फेक्शन एंड इन दिस वन पर्टिकुलर फोटो शी हेज कवर्ड अ वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टॉपिक इन अ वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल मैनर यू कैन यूज अर ऐप एड और लैपटॉप और वट एवर यू हैव इवन योर मोबाइल फोन टू मेक सच इमेज बेस्ड नोट्स दर बाई जस्ट गोइंग थ्रू द इमेज विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके आई पर्सनली डेड इट क्वाइट अलॉट इन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी स्पेशली द पैरासिटोलॉजी पार्ट विच हैज अ लॉट ऑफ इमेजेस दैट यू हैव टू लर्न नंबर फाइव इज टू कलर कोड दम स्पेसिफिकली ऑन द बेसिस of the relevance that means the most important most high yield topics are going to be color coded in a bright color that is ekdam yellow yellow color utna jo important nahi hai you can code them with blue color it all depends on your personal preference but this is a color coding system which i use so if you are short on time you know what you'll have to read you you can easily skip over the blue ones because you feel like those are not important but just always always remember ki yellow wale to padh ke jana so that way you are further concising your notes to only the most important most high yield things which you have uh, which are asked upon in the exam point number 6 is very very essential it is as essential as making the notes in the first place is to updating the notes what do you mean by updating the notes so you have read the topic very well you understood it classify kar liya notes le liye concise notes bhi le liye now when you solve the question you are supposed to get most of the questions correct and you definitely will but what happens to the questions which are actually important and you get them wrong these questions have to be added to the concise notes which you have prepared because you know ki ye already aa chuka hai and second of all it will make your notes extremely high yield once again and we now move on to the last point is to keep them very very clean and very very readable it's obviously i don't have to go into detail about this but if you have a good clean note uh, you will definitely read it more than if you have a very very haphazardly made notes but guys the video does not end here that's because i like to provide you information which is complete and therefore i request you guys to subscribe to the channel if you have not done already so please consider subscribing to the potent gang that means we are able to do anything everything we are able to differentiate into any cell that we want anyways the second part of this video is actually how to revise the notes which you have made again and again because that's the thing yaar tum ek concise notes bana loge then you'll keep it in the almari you'll forget about it and 6 years later when you're cleaning the almari you'll get oh no i should have probably read this when i had the time right and so let's avoid that mistake in the first place number 1 paste these notes onto your walls uh, in a place that you get to be looking quite a lot at for example the moment i wake up my eyes directly go to parasitology and the notes which i have made for that because that is that was one of my weakest sections but since the first thing that i actually wake up and look at was parasites i understood the parasites and never make a mistake in solving the parasite wale questions only because my concise notes were pasted in a place where i actually saw them very very frequently uh, i have a very nice story about it there was my friend <coughs> who actually had pasted notes in his toilet so paste your notes instead of keeping them in your folder keeping them in whatever if you feel like pasting is going to be too big of hassle for you just take notes ke xerox le lo xerox ko chipka do original wale you can keep in your notebook and study revise frequently second point is as important important as making notes in the first place that is to revise the main notes itself revise the textbook itself because again the entire you know mindset of these concise notes just falls down into one thing that is keywords and if you forget those keywords if you forget the concept there is no point in making notes occasionally go back to your main textbook go back to your main videos revise those videos revise these textbooks and you will be very very happy that you did because then you will be able to associate the keywords even more better the last tip tip number 4 is to explain these notes to your friend because explaining is the feynman method you're going to be finding some weak points in your own preparation while explaining things to your friend i think those were all the points that are actually needed to cover in this video and if you did enjoy please make sure to subscribe so close to a million let's go over there very very fast with that if you feel like you still have some doubts comment down below i'll definitely reply thank you so much take care i'll see you in the next one is dr vishal signing out bye